Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have a star and ten of pentacles that's popped out here. So I do see if you're in a situation um, that is kind of uncertain but has come to completion and you feel it in your intuition, uh, something is being guided by the divine that will bring abundance. Even though it may feel like the end, you can feel something uh, energetically. Uh, eight of earth with seven of air. So more going on than meets the eye here. Somebody's kind of got a plan or strategy hidden from the other. Uh, something that they've been working on. I also see this can be a different way of looking at things as well. Nothing has gone wrong. Trust the process. This connection is divinely timed. Yeah, there's something about the divine guiding this. Reaching your goal, everything you want from this connection will manifest in the near future. Yeah, all is not lost. Okay, I'm getting a, a heavy energy of hope uh, in the process, but also trusting that everything will work out according to plan. Nine of Pentacles is our overall. This is about success, enjoying the rewards of our hard work, but it's also about being comfortable and uh, self-love as well. So let's see what's going on in your energy. We have Emperor, King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles again, and the Two of Pentacles. So this is a great week for you to get things done. Um, it looks like your resources or you're working really hard. Uh, you have enough money to be able to do the things that you need to do or pay bills here. I just want to say this. Some of you might have been worried if you have enough or there's something else that you want to enjoy with your family, maybe vacation. Uh, it's showing that this is a week where you're going to find out uh, some good news, things that uh, will work out the way that you wanted. When it comes to love, you are definitely trying to gather up uh, some knowledge here on uh, what you truly want for yourself. I see that there's more of an assessment period going on. You realize something has come to completion, but you really do feel, no matter how this has ended, that King of Cups Emperor, uh, you feel very good about yourself because you know that you put your best foot forward and you did everything that you could in the situation, even though it may not have turned out the way you hope. I see you, uh, especially in this Two of Pentacles, if you can kind of see the face there, it's like, aha, uh -huh, I got it. Because I know I'm clean and clear and I've been fair in this situation. Uh, King of Pentacles, Strength and the Justice for their energy this person is feeling like they want to do something about the current circumstances, but they know that karma's kind of bit them in the butt. They're realizing now that what they've done here has caused a lot of issues for them, possibly financially, or um, has really broken their heart in a way where they feel like they just can't move past something. Okay, there's something they feel stuck in, especially with the strength card. This is a great time for them to uh, really understand the divine order. So this might be a spiritual connection or for some of you, a karmic. Okay, they're learning a tough lesson right now. They're basically uh, dealing with some karmic debts that they've uh, really accrued. Okay, so reaping what they sow. Tell me the King of Pentacles. Having this desire to fix things within their own personal environment, uh, but they're realizing now that it's something that has to do with this connection, something that they've done that has caused them some issues here. So they are picking up, this is, you know, kind of my karmic uh, debt that I have to deal with. Uh, I, I deserve this is the feeling here. The world two of cups. Yeah. One thing is, though, they can't get you off their mind. They're seeing that this may be an ending, but they do want a new beginning. Tell the justice card. Eight of cups. They realize they've had to leave the situation. OK, some of you might have left. Uh, but it's showing up that it's kind of like they feel they deserve it. Almost they don't deserve you. Uh, Page of Swords. But there's still a little hope for the future here. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. We have Queen of Cups. Oh, 
Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. My dear Sagittarius, oh my goodness, lots of light and love sent to you here, okay? Um, so this really was a traumatic experience for some of you. You did go through uh, a lot of issues emotionally. This person was triggering you some things that you uh, have dealt with in the past and it was really being shoved in your face times 10. This person really uh, put you through the ring or made you feel betrayed um, and stressed out quite a bit because of their actions. I see that they treated you as if you were an opportunity, something that would benefit their life or something that uh, was just not important to give into, uh, that they were willing to take from you here uh, and also manipulate you emotionally. Use your feelings against you. So they knew that you were completely devoted to them. I mean, they, they knew your true feelings, but they used this to manipulate you to get what they want. Uh, tell me the Ace of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Ten of Cups. Five of Cups. And the Hierophant. Yeah, this was really hard. Some of you did walk away from this situation. There was a promise in the beginning uh, of a future here. It really did feel like you both were on the same page, ready to uh, head towards commitment, some of you. Uh, but that things were going the natural order in a relationship or even a situationship. But things took a turn when they started to uh, say things that just didn't add up. It didn't make sense because they weren't following through with their actions, but also there was some suspicious behavior here because I see them purposely stressing you out, but at the same time, what was hidden from you is that they felt very guilty as they were doing this. Uh, they were an opportunist at the time because of something going on in their personal environment. Uh, we have Queen of Wands, King of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords for uh, the challenge. Yeah, keeping secrets from you here, I do see that they really tried to uh, look at this in a logical way. Kind of like an opportunity here, especially with the Five of Pentacles. They felt like there was something special about you that was benefiting them. So whatever that was in your situation can be financial, can be uh, stroking the ego. Whatever it is, it made them feel better and they became attached to that feeling. It made them feel good. Tell me the Seven of Swords. But they weren't realizing that their emotions or their feelings for you were actually growing and they were deeply in love. Okay, if we have the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, they felt this way towards you but were in denial about how they felt. Four of Pentacles, the Moon. Yeah, a lot of things going on here behind the scenes, but I see that they were detaching, keeping their feelings to themselves. Tell me the Queen of Wands. Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. This person judged you right off the bat, thought you had so much to give, and also seeing you as a person uh, that it doesn't matter if they take from you, you will be okay. You are confident, you've got everything going for you, they kind of hold you on a pedestal here because they feel like that you will be fine without them or if they hurt you in some way, that you they wouldn't affect your life at all. So they kind of use this as an excuse for themselves. Like, it's okay, because if they leave me, they'll be fine down the road. Uh, but this was not the case. They were actually in denial about how they were feeling here. So a lot of you felt confused and very hurt by the way that this person chose to manipulate you and make you feel like you always had to chase them or always had to long for them, uh, always wanting more, but them never giving it. So you were very intelligent here picking up on the fact that they were playing a game and you were absolutely right. Devil, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands for what's about to happen. So I see that they get to the point where they can't handle this anymore. And there's kind of a plan in place. Uh, something is about to happen here in the Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, that's kind of been hidden behind the scenes for a while. So if this reading is resonating with you, 
In the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. Lots of light and love to you guys, and I'll see you next time.